Uh, my name is Leon Al. I'm one of the glaucoma specialists in Manchester, UK. I've been doing canaloplasty oh, on and off for a good few years. Probably started off with the, the original eye track with the fiber optics. Recently, obviously, we moved to this eye track advance where the, your fiber optic is now in, a, in the introducer. The mix for me all started with, with, with implants and device and, and canaloplasty appeals as a glaucoma specialist, if you like, because A, it's an implant-free procedure. Certainly some patients or some doctor's point of view, that sometimes we feel like it's more physiological and normal not to have an implant. The concept of canaloplasty is restoring physiology. We are allowing us to tackle the bit of anatomy that we think is not right, and then we can tackle it in different places and 360 degrees dilating the whole system rather than just simply bypassing a certain specific point. We've learned over the years that, you know, if a device implanted well, you get efficacy and you, sometimes you don't. And we don't know why, whether because if we're not implanted correctly or whether there is no outflow facility in the area. There's a big, big degree of luck involved and we don't have advanced imaging that allow us precisely to place these devices. The canaloplasty allow us then to tap into the whole thing. So then I think the chances of success, theoretically at least, should be higher. So, you know, we're looking for that response rate that there's gonna do something afterwards. So I think that's why the concept makes sense in canaloplasty. 12 years into practicing mix, then almost every single patient of mine who's on some eye drops coming in for cataract surgery would be offered a mixed procedure on top. The cataract surgery is the aim of this operation. If we add any mixed procedure into it, that's going to cause me problem, even just for a week or so. Canaloplasty, having the benefit of being able to treat 360 degrees, it is a very safe procedure. The high femur ray is very, very low for me. If you had a, a combined operation, and the next day you have a lot of blood in the eye. Yes, even you warned me about it. They will still not see very well for a week or two. And for someone who's only got one eye, that's not great. For me, I don't really like to deal with these complications, even if you resolve. I don't think we can say, oh, it goes away, it doesn't really matter. And I think it does matter to the, to the journey that they go through. That means they need to have more steroid, more frequent follow-up, and all these adds to negativity. And I want something that I can do it and forget it and getting the results that I need. Canaloplasty, I would choose maybe over a tearing or ripping procedure purely because of complication. The very first time you ever pass their fiber optic through a, a 360 degrees and you know, your eyes lit up because genuinely the very first time be able to anatomically cannulate this very mythical Schlems canal that you only see in textbook and plasticine cast and we never can image it this well. And first time you can see it go around and come back, it's like, wow, it really does exist. And the flashing lights really add the confirmation you've gone round. And without the flashing lights, if you're just passing a suture or other things, then you don't know. There's a, you know, and no one likes to do things when you don't know and you can't see. So visualization is key. So I love that flashing light. The downside of the old system was the fact that it's a bit cumbersome. You get a fiber optic, you get a pair of forceps, you have to thread it and thread it. Now you've got this single hand piece, which is very well designed with the correct curvature, one roll or the finger, and it goes 360 degrees. So for me, that feature is, is fantastic to be able to cannulate 360 that fast. Second thing, of course, is the same for the whole eye track system, old and new, is the, the ability to titrate by dilation. So yes, it does mean someone else need to turn the clicks, but I like control and I like the ability for me to dilate more, dilate less, vary the clicks depending on the knowledge that we gain throughout the journey and depending on the patients. I can vary the amount quite a, quite a bit rather than being limited or you only get one go at this side and one go at that side. So for me, the whole concept and features now in a single hand piece is lovely.